This might be TMI, but I just wonder what color this would be when it comes back out. Hey guys, since everyone is doing it, I thought might as well jump on the bandwagon and try out the new Unicorn Frappuccino from Starbucks. I had to go to three different Starbucks before I was able to find this drink. Granted, I do live around like six Starbucks, but guys, that's insane! So I've seen some reactions already about this and everyone says it's really sweet and I really don't like sweet things, like sweet drinks. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this and guys, like, the color of this is like ridiculous. But without further ado, let's just try this out. Here goes nothing. Oh, oh, wait. Nice. What is it? It tastes like a. It tastes like sour candy. It's not. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Like, you know how like cotton candy is, like where it's just like. Just well, cotton candy is just sugar. But that's exactly what I thought this was gonna be like. Just cotton candy, just sugar. But this actually has like a flavor to it, which is pretty good. This is actually really good. Guys, I'm sold. I'm not gonna drink this again, but it is actually really good. Um, I think the flavor that I taste most in this is mango, because I heard, um, I was reading online that it actually has mango syrup in there. You can actually taste the mango, which is really cool. I like mangoes, so. Guys, this is really good. Oh man. Oh no. But there's so much sugar in there. I heard that it's supposed to like change flavor as you drink it and right now I like the taste so I hope it doesn't change. <laughs> So pretty much, it really is like what it says, where it just goes from sweet to sour, and it's actually quite sour if you get like enough. I'm guessing the uh, the blue syrup is actually what makes it sour, and it looks like I'm just getting to it, so. Oh, it's so sour. Ah! Guys, I'm not gonna lie though, like even though it's like really oddly colored, it's actually a really pretty drink. Guys, look at how cute that is. It's like pastel-y colors. It's really nice. It really is a unicorn frappuccino. Um, I like drink that really quickly, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be really, really bad. Like, honest, like, honest to God, I thought it was like gonna be really, really sweet and just really awful. It probably is really awful for me. Like, I still feel the need to go run like 50 miles right now just to work this off, but, oh. But I thought it was gonna be worse. I thought it was gonna be way worse and I really like it. So I'm, I'm not by any means gonna go get another one right now. Like it's not that amazing. For all the hype that this drink has been getting, I think it actually does deserve it because it's an aesthetically pleasing drink. Like yeah, it has a lot of sugar and it's really bad for you, but if you have this every like 
once in a while, like maybe once a month maybe, even though it's a limited time thing. Like, if you were to have something like this maybe once a month, it'd be fine. This is not by any means a drink that you should be drinking every single day. But I guess that's pretty much it. I have jumped on the bandwagon and I've tried this unicorn frappuccino and I liked it. So that is just my opinion. I know a lot of people are saying that it's really bad for you with all the sugar, but guys, just calm down. It's just a treat. You can treat yourself every once in a while. So now I'm probably going to go for a walk and have a salad, but thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if it tickled your fancy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!